Hey there, Booksy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to do a little look back at my May TBR video to see how many of the books I'd put on my TBR that I actually did read. If you watch my May recap video, then you probably already know all the books that I read in May, but some of them were on my reading list and some of them weren't. So we're just going to look back at my video and see the statistics, how many of the books I'd actually plan to read because, you know, at the beginning of the year, I started this little series and I'd like to keep it consistent. So even though I haven't been doing recap videos and I did one in May, we're still gonna look back at my TBR and check out the stats. So stay tuned. Hey there, Booksy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you some of the books that I have on my May TBR. I can't talk about all of them because I'm judging the Booktuber prize. I'm judging the quarter final prize. So I have six books that are on my May TBR that I can't tell you about yet. Well, that's not true. Five, because I've already read one of them. There are six. I read one, so I have five left. And I have four of them right here, and I can't show you what they are. So <laughs> just know that there are five books on my TBR that I can't mention right now. Since I was using those books to judge the BookTube prize and I've already submitted my ballot, then you know for sure that I've read those five books. I no longer have one of the five, but I have the other four I could show you. They were Book of M by Peng Shepherd, The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, West by Caris Davis, and the Incendiaries by Aro Kwan. So these are four of the five. The, the fifth was The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. And so yeah, those five books that I set aside, the first five books that I didn't talk about, I read. I have other books because I'm gonna be participating in the there are always other Asian books. Readathon. I'm gonna link the Google Docs for the Asian Readathon in the description box down below. So you can go check it out for yourself. If you haven't heard about the hashtag Asian Readathon before, go ahead, check it out. I recommend it. I love books by Asian authors. I do love books by Asian authors and I was hoping to have read more Asian authors in May, but I did read four books. Some of them were on my TBR, some of them weren't. So let's see which ones were on the TBR. I love books by Korean authors. Han Kang is... I don't have any books author. by Han Kang to cool. read. I want to read everything that she's ever... I don't think I'm necessarily going for the challenges that are specified in the Asian Readathon. Like, one of the challenges is to read a group book, which I don't have, and I'm not that I didn't interested even think in about the another challenge book. is to read a manga. I have never read a manga. I did get a recommendation for a manga. Sean the Book Maniac suggested that I check out My Brother's Husband and I requested it from the library, but I didn't realize that it was a series or there was a sequel. So when I requested it from the library, I actually requested book two and it came in, but I hadn't read book one. So I went back to reserve book one and that hasn't come in yet so i know i'm definitely not reading it for the asian readathon because may is over but when it comes in we'll see um if i still have room and still have time i'll check it out. has never read manga don't even really know what manga is <laughs> i still don't know what manga is i have these three books out from the library and i'll just show them to you because they're the ones that i have right here the Strays by Emily Bito that was recommended to me to participate in hashtag Aussie April. I didn't get around to this. I only read... I didn't actually get to The Strays in May. I think I'm going to return this to the library and re-request it because I don't have room in my June TBR to read it. The next few months are going to be really busy. I don't feel like I should hold on to a book and hope that I have time to read it. So, no, I didn't get to The Strays. And the other two books that I had out from the library that I was hoping to read, The Last Romantics by Tara Conklin and The Falconer by Dana Sapnik, those, the due dates came up and I had to return them, so I no longer have them. And no, I didn't read them either. So, fail on those three books from the library that I was hoping to read in May. It's okay. These four are arcs that I have that my reviews are due in May, so I'm going to have to be reading them pretty soon. The Printed Letter Bookshop by Catherine Ray. I did read The Printed Letter Bookshop. I had to review it for my blog, so I read this pretty early in the month and reviewed it, and I love this book. I've talked about it, raved about it ever since. A few people who watch this channel said that they've picked it up, and I'm really excited to share this experience with you because I love this book, and I hope you love it too. Then I have Brief Chronicles of Another Stupid Heartbreak. Brief Chronicle of Another Stupid Heartbreak by Adi Al Said is a young adult novel set in New York City and I really enjoyed this one as well. 
I don't know. A lot of the YA books that have been sent to me for review, I mean, I'm not biased just because I'm getting arcs from the publishers, but I've really enjoyed these books. I think the person who contacts me about writing reviews for these books, I think she knows a little bit about my reading tastes. She does watch my YouTube channel. She does follow me on Instagram. And so maybe the books that she recommends me are just books that she knows that I will enjoy. And so I do enjoy them, but I really enjoyed this one as well. Now we have How We Disappeared by Jing Jing Lee, which is set in Singapore. So Hashtag Asian Readathon. Looking Absolutely. Hashtag Asian Readathon. I read this one set in Singapore. I really enjoyed this one as well. I liked reading about how the people in Singapore were involved during the war. And a lot of this history that was mentioned here is history that I was very unfamiliar with. So I was glad that I read this. And yeah, hashtag Asian Readathon. Singapore was another Asian country that I crossed off that list. And then finally, the Overdue Life of Amy Byler by Kelly Harms. This one... This is another book that was set in New York City. I got this one from the publisher and I really enjoyed it. It's bookish. It's about a woman who's working as a librarian and she is discussing how she helped students who are reading below their grade level to improve their reading skills, but also to learn to better appreciate literature. And so I really enjoyed that part of the book. I also like the fact that it was set in New York City during the summer and I was reading it while I was in New York City in warm weather. So it felt very timely and significant I don't know I just like this book a lot <laughs> I also have two other books that I have out from the library that are Asian authors if you leave me by Crystal Hannah Kim I can't believe I still have this book out from the library I need to read this one pretty soon I think I renewed this book about six times at the library before I finally got to it but I finally got to it in May hashtag Asian readathon this is a book that's set in Korea during a refugee crisis and it's when the people are talking about the separation between North and South Korea and how it's affecting them and loved it. Really happy that I got a chance to finally read it, got the motivation and the reason to finally read it because this book has been lingering on my TBR, even though it's a library book, been having it around for a long time. Finally, finally read it and now I can return it to the library. If you leave me by Crystal Hanekim, I've heard really good things about this novel and I've wanted to get to it. But somehow, this 400-page novel I haven't been able to read yet. But now, I'm going to definitely try for hashtag Asian Readathon. I did. Then I have Girls Burn Brighter by Shoba Rail. I tried Rail. hard. I've gotten this book from the library a couple of times. Because at first, I wanted to read it because it had been nominated as a contender for the BookTube Prize. And then I had to return it. And I got it again. And I think I might have gotten it a second time. And this is the third. But in any case... I read Girls Burn Brighter by Shoba Rio and I gave this five stars. If you haven't heard me wax on about this book, watch my May recap, watch my close to book review where I talk about this book at length and talk about how much I loved it. And I'm going to be reading this author's short story collection as a buddy read with Kay, who's one of my subscribers. Hi, Kay. And so I'm looking forward to getting more from this author. This is her debut novel, but she's printed short stories before. So looking forward to reading more from this lady. This is a book that I just got recently. It's an arc. It's not an arc. I got it from the publisher to review, but it's a finished copy. Finished copy. And it's a Pride and Prejudice retelling set in Pakistan. I was hoping to get to this one in May because Asian readathon, but I couldn't fit it in. So it's on my June TBR. So if you watch my June TBR video, you see that this one is still in my reading plans for the current month. I also got this book from the library, My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyinkan Brathwaite. I did read My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyinkan Brathwaite. I had to return it to the library, so I actually finished reading the book while I was in the library and returned it. So I read it. <laughs> I didn't love that book, but I read it, and I'm happy that I read it so I can move on. I have a buddy read that I'm going to be doing with one of my subscribers, Patrice Jones. Hi, Patrice. The story of Edgar Sawtell by David Roblowski. I did the buddy read with Patrice and we both absolutely enjoyed this book or at least most of the book. I had some issues with how the book ended, but I really enjoyed the read. So yeah, I read it and it's a big book, 562 pages, I think, of beautiful, beautiful story. The story of Edgar Sawtell. I've been reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I was reading this because Krista from Books and Jams hosts a read-along on 
Goodreads. I've given up on reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck right now. I just, I don't have time and I'm not that inspired to read it. Now that the Goodreads group has finished and most of the other people who are reading it have moved on, I don't really feel like I can contribute and have a discussion with them anymore. So I think I lost my opportunity to discuss this book while I'm reading it. And when I saw some of the reviews that people who were reading it posted, they didn't love it as much as they had hoped. So I think I'm gonna put this one aside and maybe come back to it later, maybe, not maybe. I plan to come back to it later. I don't know when later, but just not right now. I'm gonna read it in May, don't have it on my June TBR. So we'll see when I get back to this one. Here are the books that I wanna read in May. Hotel du Lac by Anita Bruckner, The Bone People by Kerry Holm, which is a huge book. The Old Devils by Kingsley Amis, Moon Tiger by Penelope Lively, and Oscar and Lucinda by Peter Carey. So those five Booker Prize winning novels are on my May TBR as well. I finally acquired the five Booker Prize novels that I wanted to read in May. Three of them are from the library, two of them I bought, and all of them kind of came into my hands pretty late. So of the five, I only read one, and it was this one, the not quite the shortest one, but one of the shortest books on the list. So I read this one in May. The other four that I have put back to my June or later TBR is The Bone People by Kerry Holm, Penelope Lively's Moon Tiger, The Old Devils by Kingsley Amis, and Oscar and Lucinda by Peter Carey. Yeah, all four of these are still on my TBR for June or the upcoming months. There's no way I'm gonna be able to read all of these books unless I don't do anything else in May except fly in bed and read, and that's not my plan. So we'll have to see how this shakes out. Yeah, I didn't do that. I didn't stay in bed in May and just read, but I did read a lot and I did get other things done. Yeah, I have some vlog footage that I was supposed to post a couple of weeks ago and I just didn't get around to editing it. Being a booktuber can take a lot of time, man. I mentioned 22 books in my May TBR video, and of those 22, I read 14 of them. Eight of them I didn't get to, and so of the 15 books I read in May, 14 of them were on my TBR, so I only added one book to my May reading that wasn't on my original reading plans, and that's a small book that I picked up, set in Japan, because I wanted to read one more book for Asian Readathon. So 14 out of 22 is really good stats, right? I don't know if I'm gonna do as well in June. Come back at the end of June to watch my June TBR revisit and see if I do better or not. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you wanna see more. Let's talk in the comments. Let me know how you did with your May reading plans. If you read mostly books that you had set aside at the beginning of the month or indeed let me know if you make TBR videos and how well you stick to them in general, not just last month. Let's talk in the comments. You could tell me or ask me anything. So we'll talk down there. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.